the tourist influence there is really, really heavy. So it's like there wasn't just one cultural influence. I mean, yeah, you see definitely like influences from the French and Dutch governments because, you know, that's, uh, that's what the island is divided into. But it really is just a huge melting pot. The members there are really, really cool. Like, um, the uh, something that's interesting is that the it's the island is divided. It's a really small island, but it's divided into like different neighborhood districts. So you go to like to one neighborhood, um, like St. Petersburg was like one little uh, neighborhood we would go to, and then you go to like a different district, and it's just it could be completely different. Like there was a heavy Hindu influence as well. So like you go to one neighborhood and it's full of people who uh, practice the Hindu faith. You go to another neighborhood um, and you can, uh, I met someone there from uh, the Middle East who was, uh, uh, who practiced Islam. So it really is just a fun little melting pot uh, of people. The members there are really warm, like they are in Guadalupe, but there is a I feel like there is a difference just because there's so much change on St. Martin. They have so many like uh, members coming and going that are there just for a short time. So the members that do stay there, that are there constantly, like it's mm, there's almost this feeling of like, oh well, it's nice to see you. Let's get to know each other. But there's a, a, a like there's almost an expectation of, okay, well, you're going to be gone soon. So, um, so, but yeah, it, it's a very interesting culture, very interesting, uh, church there. So sometimes it can get frustrating to, uh, to serve there as a missionary, just because like, like I said, a lot of people are this, just there for a short amount of time, uh, transitional. So you'll start teaching someone and then they'll be like, oh, well, I've got to go move here or whatever. And it can be hard for them to get work there because it is a touristy place. But, um, something I would say is don't get discouraged by that because some of the greatest work, um, greatest experiences I had on my mission were on St. Martin. Um, one of the strongest converts of my entire mission was while I was on St. Martin. And um, don't be afraid, like, to, it, like I said, since it is a very um, touristy type island, there there's a lot of disparity like between social classes like there's a lot of really really rich people there and a lot of people who are there as refugees so there's a huge difference there but don't get discouraged from talking to anyone because you never know who will be interested we met so many people there who were just who would just constantly surprise you um so yeah i would definitely just say don't have any, don't close yourself off to any avenues of, of teaching or of finding people there. Just it's a, it can constantly surprise you.